Today we're going to set up a file server for a Windows network with CentOS Linux. So I've just set up and installed a new server with a 512 gig SSD, and I want to make that space available on that server for a network share. What I'm going to do is use it as a space to put some of my ISOs that I use for installing new OSs. I've created a user account named Jeremy that will be used for serving files. You never want to run this kind of stuff under the root account, so I'll log in with the Jeremy account. First, we'll need to install Samba. Now we want to create the new folder for our file share. This is where the files will be stored that we're sharing. And then we need to change the permissions for that share. Now we need to add a group for our Samba. And I'm going to call this SMB group. And then I'll add Jeremy to that group. Next, we want to create an SMB password for Jeremy. You can make this be the same password that it is for the user account if you'd like. And next, we need to change the ownership of that folder that we created earlier to this Samba group. And next, we're going to have to edit our Samba config. Let's create a backup of the file first. And then let's edit the Samba config. And first I'm going to change the name of my workgroup to workgroup in all caps. This is the name of my Windows workgroup. And here we have homes, which are home folders for each user if you'd like to use those. Let's create a share that points to where we just created a folder. Okay, and here we have our comment. We have the path to that folder that we created earlier. Valid users are Jeremy. Public is set to no, but writable is yes, browsable is yes, printable is no, and our create mask is 0765. And one of the things that we can do is change this so that everybody in the Samba group is allowed to access this folder. And now let's save this config file. Now we'll run testparm to make sure our configuration file is solid. And it looks like our configuration was correct. So let's go ahead and restart our SMB service. And we'll restart the NMB service. And next, we'll have to open up the firewall to make this work. Next, I'll find out what my IP is on this server. Okay, and it looks like it's 10.0.0.7.1, so let's browse to that. And now I'm here on my Windows desktop, and we're going to put in that IP address. And as you can see, it's asking for credentials here. So we want to put in the SMB user that we created earlier, and this is also the username for the Unix system. Okay, and we can access our file share folder. Let's create a quick text file. And it looks like we're able to create a file, so we've got full access here. Let's check and see if it exists on our Linux server. And there's our test.txt file. And we can delete it, and we've got a nice network file share here. We can even map this drive if we'd like. Right-click and select Add a Network Location. And here we'll put in 10.0.0.7.1 and then click Browse. And there's our file share. Click Next. And now our network location is available on Windows 10.
If we click on Map Network Drive, we can actually map it to a drive on the server. And we want to connect using different credentials. And now if we go onto this PC, you can see that we have a Z drive mapped. And this is our file share. So I hope this has been clear, um, a good explanation. If you have any questions, feel free to tweet me or ask me something in the comments.